guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be testing a bunch of new brand new products from Quo Beauty. If you didn't know, Quo Beauty is Shoppers Drug Mart's in-house exclusive makeup brand and they have launched a bunch of new goodies for the new year. So if you're interested in seeing me test them and see how they work for me, my thoughts overall, then just keep on watching. In order of application, the first product that we have here is their brand new Hydrating Facial Serum. This retails for $20 Canadian and you get 30 milliliters in there, which is pretty good for like a hydrating primer serum. Um, it doesn't necessarily say that it is primer for your makeup, but that's how we're gonna use it today. So it says that this serum is formulated with hyaluronic acid and is just what your skin has been waiting for. Lightweight texture and formula helps leave your skin feel soft and smooth with a velvety finish. Uh, the main ingredients in here are vitamin C to help diminish fine lines and wrinkles, sodium hyaluronate, a derivative of hyaluronic acid penetrates to hold moisture within. Doesn't have a real smell to it. Feels really lightweight. I would imagine that you can add this into your foundation or anything as well. If you wanted to just add like a boost of hydration to your foundation, you can add it into your moisturizer or apply it on its own as a serum beforehand, or you can use it like this as like a face primer. Very multi-purpose. And I am applying a decent amount because this is like the only primer prep product that we are going in with. I did already um, cleanse and moisturize my skin about an hour ago, but normally, you guys know me, I go in with like two or three primers. So because we're only going in with this one, I wanna make sure that it's like a lot is applied. A lot more than you probably need to. Here's how the skin is looking with that primer applied. It feels super, super nice and hydrated, very tacky. It does feel a little bit plump to the touch and like in my screen it just looks like it's a little bit plumped up a little bit smooth but not as smooth as I thought it was going to be because it says like soft smooth finish I was expecting it to leave more of like a mattifying soft smooth finish but it's definitely still more of a moisturized tacky finish which is what I prefer so $20 for 30 milliliters isn't terrible um, and you can use this for multiple purposes as I stated so as of now I think it's really nice we'll see how it um, works under the foundation next up we don't have a new foundation or concealer to apply I'm going to be using the regular concealer and foundation from the line but we are going to be using the new sponge to apply the foundation and the concealer so they launched three new sponges they have the sweet as rose infused blending sponge which is the one that I purchased they have the Q spill in the green tea that's a weird name infused blending sponge and the easy peasy lemon squeezy blending sponge Sponge. So all of the sponges retail for $8. Infused with rose essence, this point tip sponge will blend and be you. Will blend and something liquid and cream foundation to help achieve a natural flawless finish. So that's all it says. The different infused ingredient isn't really going to do anything. I picked this one because it is a nice fully tapered sponge, whereas the others are more of an hourglass sponge. I like one that has a more tapered point. I do have their other original sponge that they released with the Quo Beauty line, which was that tapered hourglass shape. I prefer this shape, so that's why I decided to try out the new sponge. It feels very nice, feels incredibly similar in texture to my new Koki Beauty sponge, which I used in my most recent New at the Drugstore video, which will be the video right before this one. I've been loving that sponge and it feels super, super similar to this. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to apply my foundation and concealer. And we're just going to speed through this portion because I already know my thoughts on the foundation and the concealer, but we'll see how this guy does to apply it. I just wanted to show you guys how the foundation and concealer looks before we go in and set with a little bit of powder. So here's how the skin is looking. I'm definitely biased to like that primer just because I love the concealer and foundation combination so so much probably my favorite drugstore combo in my collection it's so gorgeous and looks flawless every time I think that my skin looks amazing um, I think that the primer or the hydrating serum, I'm calling it a primer because that's how we used it. I think it looks really, really nice underneath. It didn't cause like any type of pilling. It feels really nice and hydrating and we still have like a slight dewiness, even though the foundation and concealer are more of like a soft matte natural finish. The um, hydrating serum gave us a little bit of extra added 
hydration so that we aren't looking so dry so I think that looks really nice and then I'm definitely really impressed with the sponge so far I love the shape a lot more than the original hourglass as I said because you can get right in the corner of the under eyes which I love um, I love the consistency of the sponge the density I think it's a really good one for $8 this is cheaper than a real technique sponge where I live at least and you're getting optimum points on it so I think this one is a really good one um, and I would definitely recommend it at this point. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just set my under eyes a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna powder the whole face yet because we do have a cream blush product to go in with. So I'm just gonna quickly use the same beauty sponge here and just set the under eyes with a light dusting of powder so that we don't get creasing under there because we know that I'm super prone to under eye creasing. The next product that we have here to try out is the Cheeky Lip Multi Stick and these retail for $12 each for 9 grams of product which I think is a pretty good deal. There are I believe 5 or 6 shades I will check in a second. I got 3 of them so that we can swatch and play around and see if there's any like discrepancies between formulation and different shades. These are a versatile and easy to use multi stick with a soft and creamy formula that's great on both lips and cheeks. It applies easily on the lips and blends effortlessly onto cheeks to provide sheer coverage for creating a beautiful look. Apply to lips and cheeks, blend with fingertips or a brush for added color, apply a second coat. So this is the shade Blushing 97, like a nice cool toned pink. This is definitely going to be my personal favorite shade. Those are just the kinds of colors that I really gravitate towards. So we have Blushing 97. Then we have Ballet 80. Is pretty similar, but I would say a little bit more cool toned mauve purple. So that is that one there, which is Ballet 80. Super, super pretty shade. A little bit more unique, um, but I think it's really, really pretty. And then lastly, we have Scarlet 00. This I just thought was such a unique pretty color and I needed to pick it up for you guys. This one's definitely more pigmented. You can see there, this one's a lot more true to the packaging. I'm gonna go in with the shade Blushing 97, which is the first one that we swatched, just like a really nice neutral everyday pink. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to build it up more than that. I might go in with a little bit of ballet on top just cause I like a bright obvious blush. That's just my personal preference. And this one is very, very fair. I am going to go over this shade with a little bit of ballet, which is like the more mauve purple leaning color. Um, and I'm just gonna apply it in the same way. This one is actually pretty fair as well. I thought that it was going to build up a little more just because it is darker in the tube and on the packaging. But again, it's a pretty sheer wash of color. I think you get a little bit more pigment with their liquid blushes than with these, but I really, really like the consistency of these. The texture is gorgeous on the skin. They're super easy to work with. The next product that we have here to try out is the Avocado Lip Balm. I got mine in the shade Bubblegum Burst, which is currently sold out online, but they do have the other three shades in stock. So they have a clear one called Coconut Cream, a coral called Coral Rush, and a lighter pink called Pink Lemonade. But I went for the Bubblegum Burst shade because I love a bright pink lip. It says that this sweetly scented and lightly tinted lip balm formulated with avocado oil helps to provide both moisture and a tint of color to the lips. It is infused with avocado oil, shea butter, and petrolatum. I think it sounds really nice. So it's $10 for 2.5 grams. I don't think that's too bad. I will roll it up. That is how much product you get in there. I feel like that's pretty standard for a lip balm. I absolutely love their lip oils. I have one of them here. This is their watermelon lip oil. This is 6.3 grams and I believe it's also $10. Really love the lip oils. I have all of the shades, I believe, and I reach for them very frequently. So I figured I would put a little bit of this on and then maybe pat some of the red scarlet color on top. So we're trying all the products. So let's see how much color this gives me. And I don't have anything on my lips currently. 
that's how the avocado lip balm is looking on its own so far really like the feeling on the lips but i don't like the color i think it's like too frosty for my liking so i'm definitely going to mix in a little bit of this multi-stick in scarlet to add some life and color back but i really do like the consistency i'm just not crazy about this color on myself i feel like it's too light and washed out it's not like as bright and vivid as i thought it was going to be so i'm just gonna do the same thing we did with the cheek just take my finger here here's how the lip combo is looking now I like that 10 times more so it still has the finish of the lip balm but just with the added a little bit of color with the scarlet cheek and lip multi stick I love the consistency of the multi stick on the lips I just patted it on with my finger but you could definitely just fully apply it like a tinted chapstick if you wanted to so I'm definitely on board for the cheek and lip product but I'm kind of mad on the avocado just because I don't love the color so I really won't see myself using this outside of the house personally I rather use a lip oil the next two products that I purchased to test for this video are unfortunately a flop so I'm not going to be testing them but I figured I could just show you guys so they launched these new wake up eyeshadow palettes these are four pan palettes and I thought they looked really pretty online they retail for nine dollars each but these are so insanely small you get so each pan in here has 0.6 grams for scale it is smaller than the palm of my hand it is tiny and I just don't think that these are with, worth the money even if this quality was incredible I for me personally don't think it's worth it for two at nine dollars each it cost me eighteen dollars and I just do not think that is worth it I want my money back on these so I'm going to be returning them but I figured I could at least show you the shades and the size for reference just to warn you guys because you really can't see how big they are on the site because the eyeshadow was such a flop we actually only have one more product to try and that is a setting spray so I'm going to go ahead and hop off camera and finish the rest of my makeup look I'm just going to use remaining quo products I'm going to use the quo bronzer I have the shade honey glow I'm going to use the brow pomade I have blonde 73 and I'm going to use the mascara and liner as well so I'm just going to go off camera apply these four remaining products and then we will jump back to finish it off by testing out the setting spray and then doing my overall thoughts on everything new that was launched so I'll be back in two seconds the last product that we have here to try out is the brightening facial mist this is $18 and you get 50 milliliters of product um so I don't love the price to product ratio Let's see what it's supposed to do. It says that it is a dual phase face mist formulated with vitamin C. It is revitalizing and features both a water layer and an oil layer. You can see there is separation in there. This fine mist helps nourish and soothe skin, leaving a perfectly dewy and bright finish. So it doesn't necessarily say that it's a makeup mist. It's more of like a skincare, just general brightening mist. It does have some great ingredients. It has squalene, vitamin E and C, moringa oil, and sunflower oil. So it is more of a skincare mist. That could be justification for the higher price as well because it has some good skincare ingredients in it which I assume would be more expensive to formulate with. That could be why it's a little bit more pricey. Ooh, I really like the mister on that. I really like the way it feels just going on first impression and I absolutely love the sprayer. The sprayer is definitely like a make it or break it for me. So if it's a bad sprayer, it's a bad product in my mind, I can't use it. Looking in the mirror close up, I think that added a really, really nice glow actually. Yeah, I really like the way my skin is looking with that added. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell a difference, but in person it looks very glassy and moisturized. So I definitely like that. I do think both of these performed really nicely. I think that the serum is better value for what you're getting. Um, I think it applied really nicely. I am going to start integrating it into my skincare routine, see how I like it there. I liked it as a primer though, and I really liked the mist. I think the sprayer is nice. I like the packaging on both. I like how both products applied, and they performed as I hoped that they would. Next up, we have the beauty sponge. I can't speak for the other two, but I definitely think that the rose one is worth it. I think $8 is a very reasonable price on this compared to other drugstore sponges. Um, I think it performs really nicely. It gets right into the under eye. I use this for both my 
um, cream products and my powder products and it performed nicely so I do think the sponge is worth it. I also do really like these new lip and cheek dual products. I think that they are really really nice. Great consistency. I love the color range that they came out with. I love the price for the product ratio. I think is a good value and I like all of the shades that I tried. That said if you have darker medium to dark skin definitely don't do either of these. I would do the red, the nude, or the darker plum shade. Um, I think they're gorgeous on the lips and on the cheeks. I think they blend nicely and this is a really good addition to the Quo line. Love the packaging and I think these are definitely worth it. Probably my favorite product that we tried today. Next up, the eyeshadow palettes, the Wake Up eyeshadows. I do not think this is worth it at all. I will be returning. I also noticed that they did come out with single shadows. Single shadows are not for me. It's not a product that I reach for in my routine. Um, so I won't be purchasing those or trying those out. Then the last product that we tried, I think is a take it or leave it for me, probably a leave it. This is the Avocado Lip Balm. As I said, I am more partial personally to use a lip oil over a lip balm and I absolutely love their lip oils, which actually give more of a tint than this, a color that I like. So I personally would do a pass on this and I would recommend purchasing the lip oils, if anything. That is all my thoughts on all of the new products from Quo. What do you guys think about these? Will you be trying out the products? Is there anything that interests you. I did notice that they just posted a new cleansing balm, so they are coming out with more skincare. How do we feel about the skincare so far? I really like it. I think it's good so far. I'd love to see like a cleanser or moisturizer for that from them. Um, I think that would be really cool and that they're continuing to do good things with this line. So I'm excited to see what else they come out with in 2021. With that, that is everything that I have for you guys today. And as always, I hope that you have or had an absolutely awesome day. Bye.